All right, Pisces, we're going to see what's coming in for the ghosted energy. So this could be the energy for if you ghosted someone or if someone ghosted you. Guys, keep an open mind. Okay? If you need anything, check out that description. Readings that I have are opened. You can get those down below. You can get your first 10 minutes for $1.99 through Keen. That's not through me. And then all the cards that I use, all of that's down below. All right. What's coming in for this ghosted connection? Whether this be Pisces ghosted someone or the person that ghosted them. Give me more. None of them's coming out. None of them's coming out. Wow. Interesting. It says keep an open mind. So whoever this person is, it was like, I want to keep an open mind and not be so shut off. But I do feel like for some of you, you felt like this person was keeping something or hiding something to their self. And it's interesting because I want you to see what's underneath as I was saying that. Pay attention to the red flags. So, but I do feel like it's like, I want to, I want to be open minded. I don't want to necessarily cut this person off or be like, nope, not my top, not it. This person might actually be, they might have potential. This might be my soulmate. I don't want to just say no. But it's like, there was something here where you were like, ooh, you're a walking carnival. I'm not sure if I can do this. Okay, let's see what comes out for the messages of love, Oracle, for this ghosted connection. What do we have for this ghosted connection? So there was some sort of signs that was telling you to run. Your intuition was telling you. This ain't it. But again, you were trying to keep an open mind. I see some of you leaning on your inner support system, asking for advice, asking for guidance. There could have also been some people around you that was telling you, hey, do you see the way that this person's acting? But there was a lot of chemistry here. There's a lot of passion and it was mutual. And maybe this person made you feel a certain way that other people didn't. There's also something here where this person could have treated you differently than other people did. This person could have love bombed you, Pisces. I feel like this person could have come in and love bombed you in some sense, form, or fashion to the point where it was like, okay, yeah, 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 we'll keep it up in mind, let's try this. And then it was like, that was actually a sign. And even your support system or somebody in the inner circle could have been like, are you saying that this person maybe has a party side to them is what I'm picking up on. This person could have drank a lot. This person could have, I don't know, I feel like there was people around you or someone specifically that was trying to help caution you to say, listen, I don't know if this is it. I think this person's here for a good time, not for a long time. Let's see what else we've got. So what was the current challenge of this coming together? Yeah. Somebody could have wanted to be by their self. As I said that, Five of Swords, somebody had a very selfish energy. That was their red flag. This person was very selfish. This person only worried about one, and it was their self. Although somebody here could have been trying to be like, no, it's fine. This is just kind of where we're at. But that was a red flag for you. Red flag could have also been that this person... This person could have had money issues. This person could have had some sort of unhealed energy that you kept picking up on. They could have had a hard time sleeping. They could have had a lot of anxiety as well. Give me more. I feel like this person had some sort of devil energy that they were holding on to. And that was the red flag. Something you learned about them. This person could have had a hard time bringing some sort of balance in for their self, much less a connection. And you could have learned that about this person. Yeah, there's chemistry, there's passion here, but there was some sort of red flag where this person cared about one and one only, and it was their self. I feel like this person comes in very quickly, not necessarily thinking about the long term or anybody else involved. I do feel like some of you, this person could have come in and said, listen, I want children. I want to build a family. Let's get a car together. Let's get a house together. It was like this person come in 55 hot, ready. I know some of you are like, what the hell's 55 hot? 
I think of like on the interstate when you're going 60, 70, 80 miles an hour. You're going, you're hauling butt. It's like this person was hauling butt to come in and to do this with you. And then all of a sudden it was like, boom, we're done, which is that ghosted energy. But the challenge was is that this person was very selfish. And it wasn't necessarily that they wanted to come in and build something with you. It was that they selfishly seen something that they wanted and they wanted it. That's really what I'm getting. What did this person want from Pisces? There was a sense of peace that I felt like you brought in for this person. And maybe there was a lack of choice that somebody was willing to make. I feel like this person liked the peace that you helped them feel. But there's also a sense here where they were very stuck. I feel like there was things that they were hiding from you things that you didn't know about. There was also a perception, again, that I don't feel like they had changed either. They liked how attractive you were, Pisces. They liked how sweet, compassionate, giving, nurturing. It was like you were very giving and nurturing to this person right from the get-go, and they really liked that. But again, there could have been clarity that there was some sort of ending that was going to be coming up. Some of you could feel that something was going on. And then you got clarity that there was some fishy business going on behind your back. This person was still acting single, even if they weren't single. This person was still being very selfish and acting in a very unhealed way. They want new beginnings, but they want them selfishly on their own. And I feel like you learned this about this person. They liked the peace that you brought to them. They liked the way that you treated them, the way that you made them feel. But they weren't willing to bring in an offer like maybe you wanted. They liked the peace that you helped them feel, especially if they were coming out of a season where shit had been rocky. I do feel like there was a secret or something that you found out. And I feel like for some of you, it was just how selfish this person was or how stuck this person was on investing with you. I feel like some of you, this person again told you, it's like y'all thought you were building something and then you realized really quickly we're not building nothing at all. In fact, what you've been telling me and what you've been doing is two different things. So what was their intentions with Pisces from the start? They could have met you at work. They seen you as someone that was worth investing in. They seen you as someone that they could reap their benefits from investing in. But I feel like this person didn't understand how hard it was to get you to fall from them. Okay, this is what I'm picking up on. I feel like this person wanted you to fall in love with them. I feel like this person come in and wanted you to fall in love with them. And I feel like you didn't. I feel like, again, you were very attractive. You wanted to have fun with them. You were fine with that. But I do feel like there's a sense... That you were very protective over your heart. You were investing in your money, your own finances, and not necessarily giving everything to this person. Although you were willing to keep an open mind. I feel like this person seen, I'm going to be honest, I feel like this person sees you as a good business partner. But they again wanted to be selfish in this connection. And that's that back and forth energy. I don't necessarily want to actually pick you, Pisces, but I see that you have amazing potential. But I also see that you don't take my bullshit. And when I'm sitting here telling you on day five that I'm going to marry you and we're going to have children together, you're not necessarily feeding into that. Why is that? Because you have a backbone. Because although you might be good to look at and it might be fun to be around you and a lot of people want your attention just because they want it doesn't mean that they get it and I feel like this person really underestimated you in some sense form or fashion yeah there's chemistry yeah there's passion but I feel like you also underestimated this person and how this person brought a lot of conflict drama and chaos to the table unnecessary drama conflict and chaos okay hold on let me get my head together so why did they want Pisces? Yeah, they seen you as a stable part. They seen you as somebody that would have made a good co-parent or a parent to their children, if that's something that y'all wanted. Someone that would have been a good person to build a home with. But there is some sort of devil energy that I feel like this person had a hard time taming. And again, that's that selfishness. That's that when I go out, I'm single. I don't care if we're talking. I don't care if we're chatting. If I don't want to talk to you today, I'm not going to. And 
although you're showing up as multiple queens, there's more queens involved too. I feel like this person had multiple people going on. Yeah, this person wanted the passion and they wanted to be independent and single. This person didn't want to make the choice to be with you back then. But here's the thing. They were very attracted to you and they felt like you two made a very good team. They could have also had another option that was hidden that you didn't know about. It could have been somebody that they had a child with that you didn't know about. That's just a throw out there. But here's the thing. This person seen so much potential in this connection, but they weren't willing to make a choice to actually pull the gun with you. They wanted to continue to have other people, other options, not close out a cycle. I want to be independent. I want to flourish on my own. I want to only answer to myself. That's fine. Have at it. I feel like this person didn't want to have communication with you, that they wanted to keep their options open, that they could have been having other people that they were meeting at work. Although I do feel like you could have met this person at work or at their work. Um, I just feel like there was a lot more going on than what this person wanted to tell you. And this person had a very hard time taming their devil side, which brought this agonizing ending. I feel like they... What brought this ending... What brought this ending? What brought this ending? You know, it's interesting because I feel like this person was juggling all along, not seeing that the person that they were juggling was a diamond. Like, I'm sitting here juggling, I'm juggling, I'm juggling. I can't make a choice. I don't want to choose a path. I don't want to make a decision. But what I'm not seeing is that I have a diamond. Yeah, I have marriage material. I have someone here that I could build and collaborate and build a solid foundation with. But here's that devil energy. This person could have self-sabotaged this. This person could have been like, no, I don't want that. I don't want to build that. It's too early for me to build a family. This person's family or somebody that they collaborated with could have told them or could have had some sort of toxic thoughts. They could also have had some sort of friends that come in and brought some sort of passionate person to meet them. And here's the thing. If that's the case, if this person was talking to you and they let their family members or they let their friends tell them, no, you're not married. You can be selfish. You can do whatever you want. You don't got a ring on it. YOLO, you're not committed to this person. Well, here's the thing is they were vibing with you. Maybe not both feet in, but when they were with you, they were like, okay, I can. we would make a great couple. We actually balance each other out very well the things that you don't know how to do I know how to do I've always wanted a really good listener now I've got a really good listener I've always wanted someone who was compassionate now I've got someone with, who's compassionate well they had two people I'm getting significantly in their ear to the point where it's like I don't want to say that they pushed them because I don't feel like it was hard to push them but it did make them make bad choices. And then it made this connection go into a place where there was conflict, there was chaos, there was drama, there was multiple people. There was too many hands on deck. And I feel like this person really, 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 really hates their self for putting their self in that situation. And I see an energy here, Pisces, where they could have made you very sad and disappointed. You didn't see that this person was going to disappoint you like this, but they did. So let's get, what is this person hiding and keeping to their self? What is this ghosted person hiding and keeping to their self? What is this person hiding and keeping to their self? Is that they've been reflecting and trying to use their intuition. They want to come back into you. They know that they didn't make the choice that they needed to make in the past. They know that they didn't give to you equally like they should have in the past. They did not treat you how they should have, period. They were like, oh, here's another option. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I like having fun with Pisces. They make me feel peace. They make me feel calm. They make me feel like things are actually working out in my favor. I'm attracted to them. And I see that this could be something great. And maybe there was even communication of let's build something here. This will be awesome. We can actually do something. But somebody wasn't willing to make that decision. Hold on. What am I doing? What are they wanting with Pisces now? They're wanting to come in and give some sort of offer and heal this. They want to be able to heal this after a time of you guys being separate. Because I feel like this person's realizing that 
they had opened their options to avoid some sort of emotion that they could have actually been feeling for you. And here's the thing, is they left someone who was very attractive, very charismatic, abundant, outgoing, passionate, fun, the kind of person who is the life of the party that people would die to be around. And it's a very popular person for someone who was a little cold, hateful. And I feel like if that is your story, it didn't work in their benefit. Um, how are they viewing Pisces at this moment? As no communication. You cut it off. I don't want to talk to you. I've got nothing to say. I've taken control. I'm guarding my energy. I'm not dealing with you because you're a liar. You're a cheater. You're a thief. You're sneaky. You're manipulative. You made me feel like I was less than. You made me feel like collaborating with you was a waste of fucking time. That's how they view you. That's how literally they view you. They're like, Pisces hates me. They see that. But they also see that you've been very strong. And you've held back from talking to them. Because they don't feel like you want to at all. They also see that you could have had some sort of wish fulfillment go in your favor. Or there could be some sort of abundance growing for you right now. And they could view that. That again, you took their energy from them when you ghosted or they ghosted. And was like, well, this ain't going to work. So I'll go put my energy in something else. I'm not begging for you. You gave me enough red flags that I was ignoring. Do you think I'm going to come over here and beg to be a part of this carnival? No. Thank you, though. How do they view this connection overall? And it's interesting how the Queen of Wands keeps showing up. It's fun. They view it as something that come in very quickly as well. Maybe it was something that they were a little too logical about when it came to whether or not they wanted to work on this. I feel like when this person approached you, they approached you from a very logical perspective and you approached it from like, a, let's just have fun and kind of see where this goes. In all reality, this person wasn't necessarily thinking about the long term. What they were thinking about was, eh, I kind of like you. This is fun. You're attractive. But logically, I don't, I don't, you seem like a good fit, but I don't know. I feel like this person was very, um, I feel like this person held back and didn't necessarily move in a direction of building something with you. Even if they said they were, I feel like they didn't. I feel like they lied. I feel like this person came in very quickly with passion and lust and went the hell right back out very quickly. But they also see you as seeing them as a shitty ass person, Pisces. Why are they so concerned with how Pisces sees them now? Because I want to work on this. Because I know that when Pisces work on this and actually put their best effort in, that I didn't even try to build something here. They feel like this is something that they could have manifested. But they do see, again, that there's something here where it's like there was a lacking energy. Okay. Hold on. Let's get a different deck. Why are they so concerned with why, with Pisces and how they view them? Holy shenanigans. Completely different deck. Ten of Cups. That's why they're so concerned. Because Pisces made me really happy. Pisces made me really fulfilled. And I really felt like we were a really good team together. Yeah, we could have had something solid. And I'm reflecting on that. This person seeing that they self-sabotage this. That they were stuck. They weren't willing to change their perception. They weren't willing to change anything about them. They wanted to be selfish and they got their way. So where's Pisces at now? Pisces is like, hell, bye. Agonizing ending, do not come near me. Is Pisces open to this? If you come in correctly. If you come in and you show a vulnerable side, a compassionate side. It's like you want this person to approach the table if they ever come back in completely different. I want to. I want you to show me a King of Cups. I want you to show me and tell me that you wrecked the offer last time. That you want to make a choice this time to actually come back in. That you showed me red flags. That you were being a player. It's like you want this person to address the past. And address why that ending had to happen. Why that ending had to take place. And I feel like for them to acknowledge the red flags and the selfishness that they once were. The wall that they had up. This unnecessary boundary. 
the things that were unknown, where you felt like, mm, I'm missing something, but you're telling me everything's fine, so I'm going to believe you right now. And then you found out not too long down the road, everything ain't fine. Yeah, see, there could have literally been other people. And one of them just had to turn their back and say, okay, um, you made your choice. And I'm starting to see that there's more than just me involved. And that's when you made your choice. There could have been communication with, that it was like, oh, I'm going in this new beginning. Whether it been them that decided to say this to you or you. Here's the thing. No matter what they did, if they went to other people, it's like the the per, one person was like okay i'm going to use my intuition and i'm going to say there's a reason that i went through this there's a reason that this person came in and made me feel this way and then made me feel lack and now i'm feeling this way so whoever that was that person went within really started acknowledging those feelings looking at those that emotions and i feel like it really made them go inward and elevated them significantly um because here's the thing Pisces, you've always been out of this world when it comes to everyone that this person dealt with. You were different. They might not wanted to acknowledge that. And it might have knocked you down for a minute because you thought, oh my God, maybe I am like the rest of these people out here. No, you ain't. You amazing. This person sees that. This person tried to go build something with someone. They tried to start something new. It could have been somebody that they had known from their past. It didn't work out in their favor. This person felt very sad and disappointed. And here's the thing. All that they could keep looking at was how they acted. And I feel like this person knows that victory and success isn't going to come for them, especially in love, because the way that they've been acting, the way that they've been carrying their self. And I do feel like for some of you, they got stung significantly. Maybe in a season where you've been nonchalantly paying attention to something else you've been resting you've been healing and this person since this ghosted incident has been going through things that i feel like is making them see yeah the drama and the chaos and how they honestly act and why situations have to end or why maybe you walked away from them or or why you won't say, yeah, let's have a conversation. Let's talk. Let's do a new beginning. What does this person want from Pisces? They want to come in and, yeah, they're tired of feeling left out. They want to come in and give you some sort of truth and clarity that they want to collaborate with you. They want to apologize for some sort of backstabbing and betrayal that they did to you. They're, they're sorry for putting you in a situation where you felt like people could ever compete to you. Um, but I still see you being like, yeah, how'd that work out for you? I, oh my goodness. Let's see what we have. I feel like if you decide to go back in with this person, Pisces, you're going to be a little more cautious to give your heart. And if anything, this person's going to want to come in and prove to you that you can give them your heart. Because they know. You're too good for me. You deserve better. See? That's what I was about to say. Because this person knows just how horrible they were to you in the past. And I feel like this person is going to tell you, you know, you didn't deserve the things that I put you through. The things that I kept from you. And I know why you never want to talk to me again. I know that maybe I ghosted you or you decided, fuck you. I never want to talk to you again. And I'm starting to see that it was because you deserved so much better. Yeah, this person's busy with their career. And that's what I was getting. Career was a priority. I'm going to find my way back to you. I get lost in your beautiful eyes. I feel like this person's always had a problem with being vulnerable, but there is a, a sense here where they can't quit thinking about you. And again, this ending, this ending. This is the most ghosted 
I feel like this is straight up competition. This person's not financially stable and there is still some sort of pain that they've been feeling. Yeah, but I want to make amends. Wait. <laughs> I want to make amends. This person can have a back-ass word ways of saying sorry is what I'm getting. I feel like some of you are really pissed at this person. Like, really pissed. I wish I could take back my words. This person could have been very mean in how they spoke to you. You didn't deserve that. I'm starting to shake. So, this person could have called you names. They could have degraded you. They could have told you multiple things that were not true. Because here's the thing. They were very attractive attracted to you. You're beautiful the way that you are. But I do feel like in the past, this person could have tried to tear you down with words. And it was because, again, they didn't deserve you. They didn't deserve you. And now they're seeing that you were amazing. You were one of the best things at that time. And all that they did was self-sabotage it by putting more people in. They want to feel the way that they felt with you, how you made them feel. And with the Queen of Wands, that's the person to me that, again, that's fun, passionate, creative. But it's also the kind of person, like, when you get in their car, hey, I got your favorite drinks, I got your snacks. Like, a very nurturing, caregiving energy. That was you. Yeah, and I feel like that made this person fall in love with you to a point where they ran. And then you were like, well, I mean, hell, if you don't want me to treat you like this, that's fine. And then they were like, wait. Why did I just do that? I liked the way Pisces would treat me like that. They would have the, the fridge stocked for me. They would have my favorite magazines at home. They would have my car filled up for me. They would have money in the car for me. Why did I do that? I do feel like this connection, and y'all can tell me I'm being sarcastic. It's fine. I feel like this connection put this person in a state of where they were very discontent with their ways, the way that they were acting, the way that they were feeling like that they needed to protect what they had, when in reality, they didn't necessarily have anything. And I feel like that's what they realized, is I don't have anything. Why am I feeling like I need to protect and stand my ground for everything? I feel like this has made this person a better person. This situation and them approaching this so selfishly, not caring about anyone or anything else, although it burnt other people, I feel like it really made this person be like, wow, I, I'm a shitty person. Awesome. I need to change that. <laughs> Look, I'm becoming a better person. Yep, I need to change that. All right, Pisces, we're going to leave that here. Have a blessed day.